Hello and welcome to this short video on faceted search. So if I have a look at this existing application, you'll notice that currently I have an interactive report with a form. What I'd like to do is go back into the application builder and create a faceted search. So I'm just going to go into create page, into report, faceted search. I'll give this a name. So I'll call it task search. I want a new navigation menu entry. And then I just need to select the table that I want to base this on. So at this point, it's actually showing me all the different facets that I can utilize. And I like their selection. So I'm going to just click create. And now I have a page here with the facets and the results. And if you have a look at the application, you'll see that on the left hand column here, there's different values. And if I select one of these, then it will actually change all the values in each of the other facets. So for example, if I select Harold, then it drops down the cost. There's only three records being displayed. If I actually take off the first facet, then you'll see all the records from Harold and you can see that there's 13 records in total. So let's quickly go back into the application developer using the developer toolbar and have a look at how these facets are designed. So you'll notice that this first one is using a list of values. If I have a look at the assignee, then it's just using distinct values. The cost one is an interesting one because of the fact it's utilizing range. And if we have a look, here's how we define the different ranges that are being displayed. So less than 300, between 300 and 1,000 and so forth. I can also readily change the order of these. So for example, I might want to drive milestones up higher. I'm going to change these bottom two to be initially collapsed. And with the project, I actually want to turn on some client side filtering so I can actually type in and see the results. Again, save my results, run it. And now you'll see this filter. For example, if I start typing in, I can drill this down. I'll remove Harold here and I can see all the tasks associated with this selected project. And because I collapse these, it's not taking up nearly so much real estate. So thank you very much for watching this short video on faceted search and understanding just how quickly and easily you can introduce this sort of very complex component to your applications without having to type large amounts of code.